Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Scorpio for the month of December. All right, so I got a new deck, Game of Thrones. Love it. Love this deck. And I'm going to let one card fall out from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels. A little bit about myself. If you are new to my channel, um, I'm what's called a clairsentient. So when I do a reading, I base it all on people. I read people's feelings and emotions. It's called reading people. So um, what I do is um, I read all the feelings, emotions, emotions of the people involved. All right. Um, so, so I can feel when if you're frustrated, or if you're in love, or you don't want to commit, and I can feel the same thing about other people as well. All right, whoever you're inquiring about, your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever, I can feel what they feel. I'm pretty accurate at reading people, so I would say it's about a 90% accuracy rate. So I do an energy reading and a tarot spread, okay? I've been doing it for many, many years. Reading people is very easy to me. It's easy to pick up. So, um, so yeah, so that's how I do my readings. This here is a general reading. Okay, so it's not going to apply to everybody out there that is a Scorpio. Okay, it will um, only apply to some. Some you can take whatever you want from it. That is that you that resonates with you. Sometimes it will resonate. Sometimes it won't. And then you can you can always purchase a reading from me. Um, you email me if you want and to inquire. I will email you all the information on what you need. It's not a lot of information on how to get a private reading within 24 hours and the readings are out within 48 hours. Okay. All right. So what I do is I shuffle till the cards fall out and I shuffle um, and I let one card fall out at a time. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck. Okay. All right. What are the messages for Scorpio for the month of December. Messages for Scorpio for the month of December. Messages for Scorpio for the month of December. All right. What are the messages for Scorpio for the month of December? Messages for Scorpio for the month of December. Scorpio month of December. And I'll show the cards as they fall out individually. Scorpio for the month of December. Eight of Swords. Okay. Six of Coins. Knight of Spears. Seven of Coins, Death, The Emperor, the Ten of Spears. Okay. All right. So we have the Eight of Swords. So this card represents the relationship. The Eight of Swords. All right. This is somebody who is stuck in their head. All right. You feel like you're trapped by a situation. Somebody does here. Someone feels like they're trapped by a situation and they can't get out of it. This person here is not trapped. You can see that they can get out of these swords get up and they can walk out okay usually this person is blindfolded this person isn't but this is feeling like they're trapped and bound to a situation when they really aren't they just have to either think differently or just get up and get out of it all right you are not trapped by the situation that you're in or neither is this person okay all right what's going on in their mind we have the six of coins so in their mind they are still willing to give and take and share all right this is about giving and receiving this guy's such a creep in game of thrones <laughs> but this 
this card here um, represents giving and sharing and this person is really um, wants to still give and share and give and take help out it's about loans it's about generosity then there's you there's the ten of spears you're feeling like you're burdened with something all right you're coming to the end of that because tens are endings aces are beginnings and the ten of spears um which is the ten of rods which is also the ten of wands so the ten of wands is about stress and exhaustion and too many responsibilities all right but that's gonna that's gonna lighten up for you here Okay, because tens are about new about endings. All right, you just kind of feel like you're overwhelmed right now. Okay, maybe that you, this could be you feeling stuck in this situation. All right. Okay, then this is how um, they feel. These are their feelings and emotions. We have the Knight of Spears. So this is a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, male, or we're going to say male or female. Are you involved with this person? Because this person is passionate. All right. The Knight of Wands is about a man that's quite lusty or a person that could be lusty. Um, it's They're free spirited. All right. So they could be lusting after you. All right. But they're quite free spirited. They don't like to be tied down a whole lot. Leo Sagittarius or Aries male, but they're feeling lust in your heart, in their heart for you. All right, then we're, there we have you, the emperor. All right, you wanting to control things. I don't know if your heart, if you're controlling your emotions and your feelings, but this person is a strategic planner. All right, so um, it could be you just um, trying to be a little bit, bit more emotionally controlled. All right, Scorpios like to do that. They like to kind of like um, keep their emotions to themselves. Okay, this is about control. All right, all right. Now we have how they represent themselves on the outside. It's a seven of coins. It's growing something. And this card is about you're growing it. You, they just have not, they're not seeing, this person is not seeing the fruits of their labor yet. But this card is saying don't stop. You'll see the fruits of your labor, but they're keep they're still working at this, working at this, working at this. Okay, and then we have for you we have death, which is also transition. It's about big changes. It's about letting go of old things, letting go of thoughts, and moving forward. So death is about um, changes, endings. It's rebirth. It's letting go and moving on. It's about going from a, a cocoon to a butterfly. It's growing, flourishing. Something's going to change. All right. It's about you making some changes, perhaps these changes of being feeling like you're stuck in a situation. Okay. All right. I'm going to let one card fall out from Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels and see what comes out. Oh, there it is. All right. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. All right, who is wearing a self, uh, like who's being deceptive? All right, so this card isn't just about deception. It's about either fooling yourself or not being honest with yourself when it comes to a certain situation. Um, so this relationship here, okay, what are you fooling yourself with? There's the swords. So this is you're not, you're not being honest with yourself about something or not giving yourself the credit, not giving yourself the life that you want because you're stuck in a situation perhaps. Okay. All right. So that is your reading for all of you Scorpios out there. Again, if you'd like to get a private reading, you can email me and I will get, I will get back to you. Usually it's within hours. It doesn't take me very long. All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I truly am honored that you guys come in into my channel and you watch these readings, celebrity readings. Um, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, and I'll, Keep putting these videos out every month. Um, the monthlies, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of thinking I might stop the monthlies. I don't think anybody's, not a lot of people are watching them anymore. And they're a lot of work. You know, it takes a lot of time out of my out of my life to do these. I like doing the celebrity readings. I think people like those more. So I'm going to start to see where I'm going to put my focus. So, all right, everyone. Thank you for watching. And I really hope you have a great month of December. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.